Welcome to Wesley's channel, this is Wesley and this is Wesley's news. People could be divided in two sorts of nations, those who read weekly or daily, and those who prefer TV or DVD or whatever the reality show bullshit. I am hook on science big time and benefiting. In my energy conversion research I'm interested with interaction of photons and particles with matter. So the interaction of alpha, beta and gamma radiation with matter produce positively charged ions and electrons. Radiation detectors are devices that measure ionization and produce an observable output. Low energy charge particle detectors, the silicon detectors, called scintillating detectors. Normally operated at room temperature, they play a major role in detection of low energy charged particles. They can determine the energy of incident particles. I don't like them. I prefer high purity germanium detectors. Those just read that what you have on the screen now. The next category of detectors would be neutron detectors. They are much harder to detect because they are not charged. They are detected by nuclear interaction that produce secondary charged particles uh, for example boron trifluoride bf3 counters liquid scintillators can measure both neutrons and gamma rays by carefully measuring the shape of electronic signal okay so let's concentrate one of the devices that I have in lab is a beta vision biospace device that allows physically to see betas and alphas and you can see how violent those particles are they are not photons, they are particles and this is for the first time in your life those are betas amazing the circle in the middle says about where the specimen that is throwing them out is located. And that device could be seen on another video on my site, just log into it. And whenever we have a gamma, we have x-rays. Uh, X-ray is a component of spectrum of gamma usually in energy level of kilo electron volts and ortec detective dx it's a real Rolls royce something that is the best of the best of the best can do gammas and neutron as well some other stuff that is needed especially for energy research of Coleman yeah I have to take it to the lab in the storage and we have a coil winders of course uh, in Lithuania experiment there was a need to wind some coils and with Kapanaza, Kua and uh, Uslan we needed to okay we have two more let's see those Still warm. Oh, this one is ready. The sharp lines are pretty evident. Each one states about the energy of even the radionuclide. One of the Orthic detective EX had a problem they have a sort of packet PC as a display 
and in order to take the butter out you have to actually take everything out so now I'm working on removing neutron detector as you see and you see what next yeah this thing new cost more than nice quality BMW have to be careful There you go. This is the display that has that battery that has to be display, replaced. And the battery is concealed inside additional housing. So a few screws has to be taken out. And this is the display. It's a typical packet PC implemented to the device and permanently glued with the interface using a PDN. Uh, let's uh, look at high purity germanium detector, beauty, lower part is Stirling engine. And it's the vertical pipe that is connecting Stirling engine with a helium cold head. And it's a drawing. That flickering is intentional so you don't fall asleep while I'm talking. Don't worry. It's gonna end. That's a display that shows potential radioactive specimen and assignment. So each vertical line on the spectrum continuum is responsible for each individual radioactive decay. The intense doesn't give you really insurance that you have something there, but 982 confidence is pretty high one. Uh, that's a famous compass that I'm working on. Um, interesting or magnetic properties of the compound during radiation with a low frequency of 225 or 250 um, megahertz the energy level of those photons is low but uh, uh, we talk about a mechanical action during the resonance and somehow of interesting phenomena so as you see the confidence level is low but with another device, better particles shows beautifully. And that was in another video. So um, uh, we're moving on. Thank you very much. This is Wesley, and that was Wesley's news.